I'm Kim Robinson and I thought I would jump on here real quick for about 10 minutes and I wanted to share with you a story out of my book Heaven is Real and Fun and uh, talk to you a little bit about that and out of my manual I also have steps on how you can also hear and see Jesus and I just want to share a little bit out of that how they kind of fit together I didn't just wake up one day was able to do this to be able to see into heaven and go and to spend some time with Jesus and the Father they taught me the Holy Spirit taught me how to trust what I see trust what I hear trust what I feel and you can too it's just like I said it's all a matter of trust so I just want to share a little story of something that I got to do in heaven and you can too this one is called the blue flower canopy and that's out of the book so um, so the blue flower canopy during worship I stepped over into heaven that sounds like I just stepped over when you you find out that the spirit realm is close it is you know the veil was torn that's why Jesus died when Jesus died the veil was torn so now we have access to the Father it's easy he wants you, Daddy God, that's what I call him, Daddy God wants you with him. So he has made a way for us to step over into the spirit realm and to be with him. But it's kind of a process. You do have to learn. You learn how to hear. You learn how to feel. You learn how to trust. Trust the Holy Spirit. Trust Jesus. And um, it's amazing. It's amazing. So during worship, I stepped over into heaven and I saw Daddy God. That's what I call him, Daddy God. The God of the universe. He steps off the throne and he will come and present himself to you so you can have a relationship with him because he wants you with him. He wants you. You're his child. He wants to be with you. And so he has made an easy way for you to be with him. So he presents himself to me like Daddy God. I call him Daddy God. He's super, he's, he's, He's so sweet. <laughs> so he's really nice. He really is. I've also seen him on the throne where he is incredibly huge. He's incredible, but then he also presents himself in a way that you can talk to him and have a relationship with him. Okay? He smiled and was so glad to see me. We held hands and walked into his garden. It was thick with flowers and the colors are so bright and rich and the fragrance is so thick you can almost feel it. The garden is full of life and the leaves are thick and so are the petals. That's one thing that I have found in heaven is there is so much life in heaven that the leaves are thick. They're not thin and you know, they're not thin you know when in heaven the leaves and the grass and the trees there's no death there's no death at all so everything is bright the colors are bright the leaves are bright the, everything is just bright and full of life when there's no death it's just incredible how beautiful the colors are in heaven uh, and so the petals are also thick we walked around looking at the garden and I sat under a canopy of the bluest flowers and the flowers sing. That's one of the things that he he asked me one time when I was there. He says, do you hear the flowers? And I'm like, I don't hear the flowers. I don't know if I hear the flowers. <laughs> so, but you trust him. Like, okay, I guess he probably knows what he's talking about. So you listen and come to find out the flowers sing. You can hear the flowers sing. It is, it is amazing. All of the flowers sing, but I'm really drawn to these blue shades of flowers. Daddy God said, this is our new go-to spot, and he smiled. I knew that he meant this is our new place to go sit and talk to each other. Daddy loves to hear from his children face to face. That's why he's made a way for us to, to be with him. He wants a relationship with us, not just our worship. Mm, I know, right? He wants a relationship with you, not just your worship. He wants to see how he wants us to see how he sees so we can love like he loves. 
Isn't that incredible? So each time he, um, each time the Holy Spirit takes me to heaven and I get to spend some time with Jesus or the Father, it's always just, you know, it's not just because they don't have anything else to do. <laughs> it's because he's wanting to show you something. He's wanting to bring some kind of revelation so you'll have a closer relationship with him. And so out of the manual, if you, when you get that book and you read some little stories like, I don't know how to do that, get the manual and I, I have like six steps then I have each one kind of broken down to help you and so one of the steps is what but what if you can't what if you can't hear him what if you can't see him so in this I uh, help you to you know if you if you can't hear Jesus if you can't see him one of the things that I found out that maybe unforgiveness unforgiveness will can block you from hearing and from seeing so if you find that yourself if you find that you can't hear that you can't see stop and ask Jesus Jesus is there someone I need to forgive and then listen and then the first person that comes to mind you might see him or hear him or you might you know he might bring a, an event you know something that happened so ask him you know, who, who do I need to forgive? And then it, whenever you bring somebody, forgive them. And give Jesus the bitterness. Give him the hurt and the wound. And then ask him, Jesus, what you give me in, re, in return. I give you this hurt. I give you this bitterness of, you know, whatever the conversation was or whatever the event is. And then receive back from him. And so that's part of it is you give to him and then you listen and let him give to you the truth. This is the truth. And you'll see that that really helps. One of the things that you can ask Jesus is, Jesus, what do you think of me? And then listen. That's the hard part. You've got to listen. You know, if you uh, watch my other video, I also share with you that you've got to take time. Make time on purpose to spend time with Jesus. You got to do it on purpose. You got to close the door, put the dog out. My dog's outside my door. <laughs> they really want to come in. But you've got to make time to be with Jesus, to be with Daddy God. And then you talk to them and ask them questions. You know, what do you think of me? And then listen, what does he say? So that's just kind of, you know, uh, another thing that I have here that's a good thing that you can practice is Jesus, show me a picture of me and you together. And then you trust what you see because he wants to be with you that's that's what he wants he wants to be with you so he's going to show you the two of you together so you've got you learn to trust learn to trust okay that's all I have for today and thank you and if you go to my website heavenisfun.com click on the little bundle button um, I have different bundle specials all, all the time so they change periodically right now I have these two books along with the children's book uh, by the time you watch this video it may change I also have two more books coming out so um, those will be exciting I'm going to put those in bundles also so I'll talk to you later thanks bye make sure you share this mm -hmm.